Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, November 29th, 2011. The precip for the past 14 days is shown here, observed amounts on the left and percent of normal on the right. It has been a couple of dry weeks. Um, after the precip we had in October, November has been uh, pretty dismal. And no snow over the past three days for the Great Basin and our snow depths are have been decreasing uh, with the warm and dry conditions so far this month. The forecast is pretty boring this week. We got high pressure in place over the Great Basin, keeping things warm and dry with light winds. I'll try not to belabor that point here, but um, high pressure to the south, uh, again, keeping things warm and dry across the Great Basin. For this afternoon, ventilation rates are, well, for the entire week, ventilation rates are going to be pretty low um, with a stagnant air mass and warm, dry conditions. Transport winds for this afternoon pick up a little bit along the uh, along as, uh, far southwest Idaho and the northern Nevada border, and then far in far western Nevada as well. Uh, pretty light winds across much of the rest of the area. Mixing heights are also pretty low across the geographic area. More of the same for Tuesday. Uh, we do see some activity north of the Great Basin with some um, higher relative humidities and chance of showers up there, but for the most part dry and warm, especially over Utah, Nevada. Ventilation rates remain low on Tuesday. Um, winds pick up a little bit uh, to the north in Idaho, western Wyoming, and, and parts of the Uinta Basin there in Utah um, with that, with some troughiness to the north. Um, winds lighten up over Nevada tomorrow. And mixing heights remain fairly low across much of the geographic area again on Tuesday. On Wednesday, the ridge continues to remain the dominant feature over the basin for continued warm and dry conditions. Light winds, ventilation rates are low. So by Wednesday, we really do see light winds across the entire geographic area here with low mixing heights once again. Forecasted clearing index for the next couple of days is pretty poor for Utah all three days and into the weekend. Uh, Three-day precip totals don't show much of anything for the Great Basin. Uh, like I said, there is a, a little trough moving across the northwest and northern Rockies, um, but most of the precip will be north of the area. Thursday, things remain dry once again with light winds, keeping the ventilation rates pretty low. And more of the same on Friday. Uh, some stronger winds again, once again, to our north with the, as the the low pressure troughs. Um, there is some activity further north, but it really stays out of the Great Basin. So better chance for maybe some breezier winds uh, over Idaho, but um, further north, light winds over Utah, Nevada, uh, low ventilation rates. On Saturday, uh, more of the same for Utah and Idaho, or Utah and Nevada, but we do see um, maybe that low, that, that part of that trough dipping into Idaho just a bit. Um, with increasing cloud cover. I don't know how much we'll, we'll see really in the way of precipitation, but some increasing clouds um, possible on Saturday. And then Sunday and into early next week, we may start to see things change with some moisture moving into the Pacific Northwest, uh, changing our, our um, wind direction to become out of the north. So temperatures beginning to decrease, cloud cover increasing, winds may be picking up um, and then early next week Monday Tuesday hopefully we'll see some precip moving into the Great Basin but that's our first chance for any anything different than warm and dry precip totals for days four and five again not showing anything here this is Thursday through Saturday so again the best chance for some precip starting as early as Sunday in Idaho and then Monday and Tuesday a little bit further north or further south extended forecast taking us through the first uh, week and a half there of December, um, calling for above normal temperatures geographic across the geographic area, bullseye across the south there, um, and above normal chances for precip over Idaho, northern Nevada, and northern Utah. So we, uh, this would be a great forecast as we head into December. Uh, we really need to see those that storm track open up and, and bring some storms into the area. And this concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Thursday for the latest updates.